Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be transforming into Ekaterina Petrovna Zmlozhkova, but you can call her Katya. So let's start. I'm going to start off with a blank face and I mean blank no eyebrows and I should look like an egg because I'm going to be drawing Katya's face into mine. Okay, so for now I am drawing on her eyebrows. And I can't really teach this step because sometimes I start off with the eyebrows, sometimes with the nose, sometimes with the cheek contours, and sometimes with the lips, so it really depends. So now I'm drawing her eye shape and eye makeup. This is not how Katya does her makeup, this is just how I paint her face on my face. Now I'm drawing her nose and now her lip shape and this is all just a rough sketch. We will fix everything later. Okay, so now I'm drawing on the chin strap. Now just drawing her iconic cheekbones and I'm just making sure that the placement is correct. So this is what we are working with right now. I'm just facing the camera to show y'all how it's already looking. Okay, so now my eyebrow is red because I accidentally turned the lip brush that I use for my lips on my eyebrows but don't worry because we're going to fix that later while I'm correcting my lip shape let me tell you a little bit of story on why I uploaded this video it's because Katya was the first queen who ever noticed and retweeted my look way back in 2015 and then I did her look again in 2016 and a lot of people have asked me to do a tutorial on it. So this is long overdue and now I am uploading this video. So I hope this is a very um, good instructional video and I hope that you can learn from it. Okay, so now I am cleaning up my brows and also putting highlight. As you can see, I've already added shadow on my lips and that's just um, darker face paint. It can be brown or maroon, even black for the sides. And now I'm adding highlight to the nose. I'm still adding highlights and now I'm adding it to the chin and the jawline. setting it now with loose powder after blending all the highlights and shadows. After dusting off the excess powder, I'm just highlighting and tracing on the lines that we have made earlier. While I'm doing that, let me tell you on how I met Katya in LA. Okay, so it was for Nick's Face Awards in LA and I just literally arrived there. I don't know any places except for World of Wonder because I'm a big drag fan and that's the first thing on my list. Okay, so 
Um, someone DM'd me on Instagram telling me that Katya will have a gig somewhere in LA. Oh, I think it's LA Convention Center. And then I just playfully DM'd her, maybe she will recognize me. And then she freaking replied. I didn't expect it. And um, she told me that she's going to be there at 6.30 and then she was there at 6.30 to meet me. And I was so shocked because we have the same shoes same exact shoes and I just bought those shoes on the day itself I just bought them in Santee Alley because they stood out for me and who knew that Katya would wear the same shoes as me right like who would knew then came to the event and I was so surprised because she knew exactly who I was like she called my name and called me an internet friend even though I don't even know if I should call her an internet friend because because she's a big celebrity right now, right? Like, Drag Race is so mainstream now. <laughs> that is why she's one of my most favorite queens because she doesn't forget fans. Especially the fans who stayed with her since she was on Drag Race in 2015 and on All Stars, of course. And then I met her again last year for her Help Me I'm Dying tour in Manila with my friends, Bea and Jasmine. And I'm actually so proud of her because she went through a lot and now she's fully recovered or I think she is. I hope she is. We were the last three in line and I can't believe that she still recognizes me even after all these years since 2015. Which is so nice of her because she already met a lot of fans and she's done a lot of meet and greets and of course she doesn't forget um, for old fans, as I said earlier. Now I am doing the eyes. I'm putting on the blue eyeshadow on the top crease and on my bottom eyelid. This is just how her makeup looks today. Again, I, this is not how she does her makeup. I just adjusted it um, according to my face because I have mono lids and she has very deep set eyes so I set my brows lower than my normal brows and I put on a very thick eyeliner even though she has a cut crease on I'm just adding more purples and adding more blue and I'm just blending everything but it doesn't need to be perfect I'm now adding black eyeshadow for definition and the smoke effect. putting on black gel eyeliner on top of my lids as a base for the black eyeshadow that I will put later on. Also, using that same black gel eyeliner for the fake crease that we created. It's 
time for the black liquid eyeliner to clean everything up and for the fake um, tear duct that we created also. I'm just putting blush on the cheeks. Now I'm putting on red lipstick and we are almost done. Yay, we are almost done. I will just put on my falsies wig and outfit and here you go. This is my Katya Zamolashkova Makeup Transformation 2020 and I hope y'all like it. If you like this video, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And you can also share this with your friends.